Welcome to this look at a new mod map on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. This is the farm of Ben. This is a new mod map that came out yesterday. Obviously, it depends when you're watching this. On the 31st of May, it's now the 1st of June. This is by full power shift. This is 182.99 megabytes to download. The blurb says you just inherited your Uncle Ben's farm. At the start, you have a house, buildings, a few machines, sheds, livestock, and money. You can harvest, work, and sow your lands. You are now a weekend farmer. Well, what do we actually start with? Let's have a look at the map. As we oft do. This is the map. I'm on... Uh, new farmer, normal economy. We start with this section here, field 3, field 11, and the section down the middle. We do have a farmhouse in place that is sellable. <clears throat> there are also some required mods with this, which I'll talk about in just a second. Field prices are pretty good. Now, there are only, only 11 fields in total, seven of which are arable fields, and then we've got some grass fields knocking around as well. Field 2, for example, is 42 grand. We've got a few plots there's a little bit of forestry here and there and we do have a sawmill there is no biogas plant so you might want to find yourself a, a flat plot somewhere and stick a biogas plant in that's entirely up to you there are no custom crops on this map there are a couple of mods which we'll also talk about in a second contracts are available for you to peruse and do if you choose there we go so from here this is the plot we start with. I'm going to jump in the pickup and we'll um, we'll drive up. We'll talk about slot counts and all the stuff that we usually do. There's a lot of fenced in areas. This white picket fences. There's some sort of normal fencing as well. I know for some people they'll find that frustrating. Some big open spaces, quite hilly as well. Now when it says you start with a few machines. That's a fair amount of stuff, including the pickup as well. All John Deere gear as well. So, slot count wise, what are we looking at? Well, on New Farmer, 651 out of 1299. Not so bad, I guess. We do start with, hang on, that one. A John Deere 6155, a 6135, we've got a T560 Harvester, the pickup. We've got an Agriliner TKD302 trailer, two headers, uh, one standard, one corn header for the John Deere. Plow, cultivator, seeder, planter, uh, uh, fertilizer spreader. Uh, we've got a disbine mower, loading wagon, front loader attachments, two header trailers, and then we get onto the modded stuff I was talking about. So, cow shed and farm silo are put in by the map maker. We've got this bunker set here, and this is part of the required mods. We have got the bunker silo MA7 by MA7. We've got the Legrand agricultural awning, also by MA7. And we also have a fuel tank 5,000 litre, there we go, by Vertex Design. Now those three are required mods. They download automatically. So when you download the map, they automatically download those as well. You haven't got to go searching for them, which is very helpful. And then we've got the farmhouse also added in by the map maker. So cow shed holds 100, farm silo and the house are added in by the map maker. So we start with a, a fair bit of stuff. What we're going to do is head up to the cow shed because the other thing we do start with is cows. We start with 10 cows, which is pretty handy, and they've got a bit of stuff. There's our silage clamp to our right. We've got our slurry pit. Now that comes as part of the cow shed, but what's interesting is all the stuff on the map is really clearly marked. There's no mistake in what's what, what goes where. Only thing I think I haven't found anywhere you can turn that off. So as far as I know, that's kind of there all the time. Silo is a standard silo, as you can see, marked across the front, like that. That's definitely where your milk goes. Feed trough across the front. Water. 
manure, which you already have some of, and your dialogue box is just there. We can open and close that gate too. Like I say, we'll hold 100. What do we start with? They give us 10. It's got water, got straw, they've got some total mixed ration, hay and silage. Productivity is at 100% or 99 thereabouts. They probably need a little bit of cleaning out, but not bad. Now, what I'm going to do is step back a bit because I want to show you something. If you come onto here on Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, I can't remember where I was stood when I took this picture, but probably about here-ish. If you come on to here on Farm Manager or Start From Scratch, the slot count goes from 651 down to 629. You start with all the machinery, all the equipment, the farmhouse, but you don't have the silo or the cows, and it will look a little bit like this. So that's the only difference between new farmer, farm manager, and start from scratch. 651 down to 629. Now, you can, if you want to, sell all that start equipment. If you don't want to have John Deere stuff, if you don't want to have so much stuff, if you want to kind of go with a more start from scratch-esque kind of feel to it, if you get rid of all of the start equipment, everything, including the silo, including the, the, the cow barn, everything, the slot count you can get down to 427. So from 651 down to 427. This entire plot is then clear, including the farmhouse, which means you can then put a sleep trigger wherever you want. But we can get that down even further. So I'm going to head from here. And as we're driving down to the store, which is just to our south, this map is seasons ready, it is precision farming ready, and it is also manure system ready if you're on PC. Look down here. The silo as well, the main farm uh, is 200,000 litres, standard crop types as we've already seen. Main store is just here. John Deere dealership. Again, everything nicely clearly marked. You've got your buy point, which you can also do from your main menu. If I just hit my pad, I can go to my menu, menu and do it there. I don't think we can get inside the building. Pretty sure we can't. Yep. But here's the other thing. Here at the main store, which is great, there's a jet wash over there. We've also got, oh, this is where your disc bind is. If you can't find it when you first start, that's here. We've got a forklift. Now the forklift isn't showing on your inventory and if we go to our garage and then go to our leased items it's not on leased items either so the forklift is kind of it's an added an added bonus if you will if you want to call it that now if you don't want the forklift and that is a kind of hidden slots type situation you can sell it and if you sell it you can get your slot count down to 411 so from 651 down to 411 if you want to keep it keep it it's entirely up to you this is also the reset point, so if you have any problems, anything gets stuck or anything like that, you can reset to here. Then from here, we're going to head down to the first of the cell points we're going to have a look at. It's an interesting map. It's, it's, it's difficult to place. There's a couple of signs we get further up to the north. One says Maplefield and one says Goldcrest Valley, I think. Well, they're both on the same sign. So, my mind so it's, it's, it's an American map then, but it has a, um, it's difficult to pinpoint. You'll see in a little while, when we go out towards the sawmill as well, we've got a railway, railroad, railway, just the south. The trains aren't operational, we can't get on them, move them, there's just a small bit of track there which kind of marks the southern boundary of the map. Turn in here. And we've got a few different bits and bobs going on here. So I'm just going to jump out here, stop the engine and hop out. Our livestock market is just around the side here. I'll show you on the map where we are in a moment. So if you want to buy, sell, load, unload directly yourself, you can do it here. Across the front here is your barn sell point. So that's your barn. It says all the stuff on the floor there that will take, and it will take potatoes, sugar beet, sugar cane as well. We've got our co-op sell point which is just here. Now one thing I did find in the pickup, when I came this way, 
it, it kept getting stuck on the lip here. I had to get quite a bit of speed up. So if you find when you first drive up here, you're getting stuck for some reason. There's not a, well, there is a hidden barrier of some description, but you can get up there. I just need to get a little bit more speed up. But that's the co-op. And then to our left here, we've got a buy point. And we can buy all of those things. So we can buy our seed, fertiliser, herbicide, lime, and liquid fertiliser. All here, handy, having a buy point. So on the map, we have gone from here at the main farm, out and down to the store, from the store all the way down here. Oh, where was the light? Oh, I suppose that is technically Lime Station, isn't it? You can buy everything there. Lime Station, co-op, barn, and animal dealer. Back to the pickup, and we're going to head out towards the sawmill. So you've got these kind of open patches with hilly sections in between. There's a couple of bits you can't actually kind of get across. I mean, you, you could drive over the top if you want to, but some of them, the, the fields are fenced in as well. So even if you were to, like these bits here, you've got whole sections that are fenced in. You can get to them, but... I think I'm going the right way. Just looking down to my bottom left at the map. Pretty sure the sawmill's this way. Someone's broken the barriers there to get through by the looks of things. There are no, do I say there's no custom crops? There's no custom crop types on this. Just looking down my list of things, thinking, oh, have I mentioned everything? So we come here to the sawmill. It looks like an old monastery. Now it's either an abandoned monastery that's been turned into a sawmill, or the monks at the monastery are diversifying somewhat, and they've turned the monastery into a sawmill. Either way. So sawmill, log point just there, wood chip cell point just here. And this is what I mean about the, the kind of location. With this kind of setup here and some of the other buildings that are knocking around, it has a, a slightly kind of almost Hispanic kind of feel to it. I'm, I'm no expert on the US and, and you know states and that kind of thing, but sort of southern state, Alba, is it Albuquerque, places like that? Maybe, I don't know, like I say. I don't think it's set on a specific place, really, but... From here, we're going to head back the way we just came. So I'm going to see you in a moment when we come kind of back off the path we've already taken. Just coming past the store. We're going to take a left here, so we're not going back past the main farm. We're going to go this way, and I think we're going to take the right fork here, I think. Yeah, pretty sure it's the right fork. And we head out towards the town, which, like, say, out of the kind of the countryside we've just been in, you get this kind of town springs up. And again, like I say, no expert at all. I, it's difficult to place. You know, look at the buildings and the architecture and thinking, hmm, I, you know, that has a very European kind of feel. I think personally, to it. But we've got the town. We can head up through the town. There's no cell points up through here, but I guess there's plenty of mods and stuff knocking around if you wanted to put some cell points in. As long as it allows you to do a bit of landscaping, there's no reason why not. To turn right here through the town. Now, we can go left, and I'm going to show you on the map. We can go left from here, and I was going to show you something up there, but there's something else I want to show you. So, from the animal dealer, we came up, and I think we went that way, didn't we? Yes, we did, to the sawmill. And I came back and up here, at the store, turned left, then the right fork, and we come up across here. We're now at the town. So this massive field around the back here. As I said, no other cell points here. We've got some interesting features, things that would, you know, by all means go and have a look around and search whatever. So if I continue north up here, ah, oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna have to go up there now. Because that could be more hidden slots, or is that some of the equipment that I've missed? Didn't notice that when I did my whiz round. I was going to take you directly up here. This mountainside here, there's a road that goes right the way through a tunnel, all the way through and brings you out here. 
we can kind of have a look, have a look at it on the way out. Right, I'm going to take the left fork here then. Because that's got me puzzled. That could be, um, potentially, if there's more machinery and stuff out there, some more hidden slot type things. It's interesting, when I saw the, um, the title of the map, and it starts off by saying, you just inherited your Uncle Ben's farm. I thought, oh, it's perfect for rice. You've got Uncle Ben's rice, you know. It's not, but it could have been. Yeah, there's some machinery down there. We've got this interesting stepped section. That looks like it's a, like abandoned, overgrown. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I took a second look here while I was doing the map tour because I had completely missed that. And I'm not sure if that stuff's showing up on the infantry at all. Is that an old harvester? Looks like an old fear. It is, yeah. Hmm. They're definitely not on the list, are they? But that's a quirky little feature, isn't it? Stop there. Yeah. We've got a tractor with an old plough. Old buys on. Look at the state of them as well. That, see that? If you're doing a storyline or something like that, that's a real nice touch, that. Kind of barn find, old equipment tucked away but if we come back onto our garage and go to our owned items they're not on here on our owned items so again there was me saying about getting your slot count down to 411 potentially that's even more um more slots available let's have a look across at the machinery because that should be down the bottom so there's nothing listed normally if the stuff's got old where are we If you've got old gear, it'll be in red if it's got a lot of hours on it. That's so weird. I'm wondering if that's been kind of forgotten about. No, it can't have been, surely. I take it we can get in it. We can't. How weird. So why is that showing up? on the map as being dots on there. Oh, well, take all that back then. Well, it's worth a look. How odd. Oh, that's a pity. That would have been absolutely mint. That would have been so cool if you could have done that. Oh, well, okay. Strike that from the record. So, rather than going through the tunnel, we'll, we'll come out to the other side of it here. We're going to go under the main road. Now, the main road here runs out of the town, up around the top, and then out towards the east, and brings us back round. This is kind of a shortcut across, I suppose. So, the tunnel is just round here, and takes you from where we were, right the way through the mountainside, and brings you out just there. We are now going to head from here to the spinnery and then the dairy station, I think. Uh, what's next? Spinnery, I'm sure it's the spinnery. Up to the left, some more forestry, which we can get to from the main road up the top. And there's, we can get to it this way around as well if we want to. Out onto the road here. I'm sorry about that with the, the machinery. That threw me a little bit. Spinnery, just there for your cotton and your wool. Under another rocky outcrop, well, it's not an outcrop, is it? I suppose if you're going right underneath it. We're going to head out to the dairy station, which is just there on the right. I'm going to cut across the grass actually can drive around but it's up to you there's dairy station eggs and milk now if we follow the road round from here so we come from there underneath out to the tunnel bit spinnery then out to the dairy station so the road here swings round out to field nine and eight up the top there and you, that's the main road that runs right the way out and across the top all the way back round 
it'll bring you down to the town. So when we took that left, we came up and then we went out that way to check that out. If you'd have carried along, it brings you around up the top. So from here, we're not going to take that route. We're going to come back just past the way we came, back down towards the main farm. There's a fuel station. As we come along there, we've got an, a dam out to the left-hand side. It's all rather impressive stuff. Um, and Field 5 is an interesting one, which we'll have a look at. On the way past, it's another one of those ones, as I drove past, I thought, hang on, I'm sure I checked, and there's no custom crops on here. It looked like a rice field. You'll see when we go past there, but we haven't got rice, but it, it does look like a rice field. But, um, very cool. So, back past where we just came. If you go left out there, it will take you out to that field, but we'll get to that in just a second. Field 5 is on our left. I'm going to cut through the trees just to show you. We could have looked back at it, but... Yeah, down there in that kind of low lying bit. I thought, oh, I wonder if you can flood that. And, you know, but you can't. It's just... Interesting feature to have a look at. Then as we cross the bridge, the dam is out to the left-hand side. Just there. Then we come into a fuel station, gas station, on the left. And we've done a complete loop round. Because we're almost back at the main start farm on our left. And that's it, that's the farm of Ben. I'm just, I'm just looking down my list thinking, have I missed anything? I haven't, that's everything, that's all the sale points. All the relevant information, and some that wasn't relevant. <laughs> that's just the way it goes sometimes. So there we go. Uh, that's by Full Power Shift. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.